Yo, what up? It's your boy, I'm Cortez. Yeah, Mr. Fans of the Coach. What's up, everybody? It's your boy, I am, yeah, I am Cortez. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, mistakes of all ages as usual, the Culture Section is proud to present unto you. From going on by way of North Carolina, put your hands together for the one, the only, top the greatest me. Welcome to haters are gonna hate. <laughs> Can I get a witness get so, up in here? Up in here. Welcome to another explosive episode of the Culture Section Podcast. Check us out on Facebook, Spotify, maybe Apple, because I got tired of paying for something. We're back, man. We're back. The folks are saying Deion Sanders has betrayed HBCUs by moving on to Green Oak Pastures. What do you think? Um, first of all, uh-huh. I want to know who pays his bills. Do these people pay his bills? Uh huh. They do. No, I don't. Oh, know. okay. Do these people live in his house? Did he marry any of them? Did he have a ceremony where he took vows that he was going to be committed to these people? Did he or did he not? No, do- he did not. <laughs> <laughs> These same people who are yeah. angry, I guess they only go to black-owned businesses. I guess they don't Ooh, shop at their do local Walmarts or food lines, Dollar Tree. You own one, ladies and gentlemen. I guess these people only support that. I guess they have found the cars that are only built by black mechanics and engineers <laughs> and also are owned by black companies themselves. I guess these are those same people. Yeah. I'm taking it that these are the same people who also go to gas stations, I guess, that are just owned by <laughs> black people, huh? <laughs> and oil companies and stuff that are owned by black people, mechanics. Uh, I guess they go to all black schools as well, these same people. All black churches. Every clothes and materials they, they wear is from black companies as well. Their house was built by black folks. I think a Chinese black person built my hoodie. <laughs> If he's still Chinese, matter of fact, probably speak Mandarin or something. <laughs> but these same people, you got to ask them, what does he owe you? That you are angry that this man does what every person literally does and looks out for themselves and their well-being. Mm. How can you be mad at a man who has a family to support and he's doing what is his best interest? Let me help. These same people, I guess, only vote for black. Politicians, I guess, is when when there's no one black on the roster, they just don't vote at all. Even though they say vote or die, and it's your right. But I guess if no one black is there, these same people stay away, huh? Let me help you. They only celebrate black holidays, I guess, these same folks. Let me help you. Go right ahead. How dare you get me hype about going to a HBCU and about how much they need us and how much we need to change the way that the NFL is and the way that the NCAA or whatever you call it or uh, uh, the sweat, I don't even know what you call it. But all I'm saying is how dare you? How dare, how dare you? How dare you commit to a school for three years, improve their record, Use all of your connections so that they have fresh clothes on, suits and stuff, fresh jerseys and helmets every game, and and use your relationship to put them all on a plane and fly them there. And how dare you hype us up, Deion Sanders? So you basically saying, how dare you improve our way of life? <laughs> and now that our life is better, it's you going move, back down, baby. You move on. It's going back down, baby. This man shouldn't have to be the one who hyped it up. We should already be hyped up. 
Why does it take him to make us feel better? Because it's, it's easy to sit at home and tweet and go, we need this. And I guess whoever made that phone <laughs> and that computer <laughs> and that <It's> laptop <laughs> and iPad is black as well. <laughs> and the company you bought it from was <laughs> black owned. Hey, man. I'm not mad at the man. People what? do it every day. What's he your... ain't the first one to do something like this. Hey, man. But the Lord told him to go to Jackson State. Hey, man. Do you yeah. think the Lord told him in that same thought? Hey, when greener pastures come, you better take it. You yeah, better take it. He probably it. said, your job is done. You, you have completed. <laughs> I didn't say it, did he? <laughs> well done. <laughs> Not now, that well done, but the yeah, other well done. <laughs> You know, you don't want to stay stagnant, man. You want to yeah. move on. I just... You you completed a mission, now what? You just supposed to stay there? Yeah. And if there's an offer, there, there's an offer. There. It's like working at a job. And then you get another offer from another job. Man, then sometimes you go back to your job and say, hey, this is what was offered to me. And they, most of the time, they be like, man, we can't... Because, you know, sometimes they think you're bluffing. Man, you know, we can't, we can't pay you that. Oh, well, thank you. It was nice working for you. Let's move along. You shouldn't be held down just because just because someone makes you feel obligated that you got to stay. What's your experience with HBCU as far as like when you visit there? Do you? Do hey man, so I went to a HBU a graduation. HBCU, by the way. Yes, my bad. I went to a graduation. The disrespect. Mm -hmm. Uh, the AC won't work it, man. It was during the summertime, mm -hmm. and they was bringing these big fans. I guess Deion Sanders could help with that. He must have left that out. <laughs> huh, <He> was... <laughs> and then, and, and and that was in one of their chapels, man. They were singing songs and everything. And it was hot. Yeah, man. They turned on the, almost every fan they could. What was man. the conditions of the windows? Oh, everything looked good. Just the. And then they was they was supposed to do a dinner for all the graduates afterwards and their family. Yeah, they weren't even prepared, bro. I mean, when I say they weren't prepared, there was no tables or chairs out yet. We went to a a ballroom that was empty, and they wanted the families and stuff and the graduates to help put things together. Mm. Hey, why do you... And I said to myself, huh, guess they don't care about these graduates. <laughs> hey, man. Huh? That time we had went over there and sung, oh, St. All don't put it on. Well, it looked like a, it like a wasteland out there. Boy, That's a, Boy, it look like it like it look lifeless. It like Chavis Heights in the eighties. It look like Walking Dead first episode <laughs> when nothing ain't there. Broken glass and man, the auditorium. Auditorium was, was and then like the land, you know, like the man. It's, it, it might seem small, but well, they blame it on the alumni. They was talking about they ain't investing back. Yeah, but you gotta ask yourself when they left. What, did they leave in that condition? They said themselves, it was, yeah, man. I, just, I don't know, man. You, as much as tuition costs, man, and as much as it costs to go there, what you doing with all that money? That's the thing that he, because he was saying, I'm going to tell you, man, I, I don't know if you look at Club Shay Shay, that's Shannon Sharp's podcast, and he was on there talking about how, like, you know, the the they play one game and it's like, you know, a 60,000 seater, that should have been like a half a million dollars, and they t they took the money and they split it with the other programs or, you know, it's always something. And they don't go back to the football program when they're the one playing in the game. But we're talking about, we're talking about just for one game, right? He yeah, he's talking about so like. So we're not even talking about a whole season at exactly. this point. Exactly. Then, he, then he's saying like, it just seemed like that. He's not saying that there's some corruption going on, but it just don't look of right. Of course it is. He don't got to say it. We'll say allegedly there is. Yeah, allegedly. Somebody living good. Yeah. There's always some kind of embezzlement going on. Yeah, just like when they, I think, remember that time Cosby gave, I don't know if it was Clark, 20 million or something, and there was some embezzlement dealing with that. I was like, man. Yeah, because people love money. Yeah. Or they be like, wow, how can we cover up this? <laughs> you know, the funny thing about when people steal money, they always say they deserve it, though. Like, they be like, I deserve this. They they did finally I'm getting what's due to me. Or they always say they got plenty of money. They ain't gonna miss this. Now in some cases that could be true, but it ain't your money. It ain't your money. It ain't your money, man. I just you a thief. That shit. Okay, this I'm not, and I'm trying to say this. This just the way it is. How come I don't know how many HBCUs there are, but we got all of these. 
big black mega churches, right? Uh huh. Big black mega churches, all over the place, and the the churches are based on a religious. You know, they based they, these churches was built <laughs> off of like Baptists and Episcopal. I just, I would think in my head that it wouldn't be such a struggle, but at the same time. I don't know if I if I'll be a tired paying person if my money should be going to HBCU. You know, I, I don't know, man. I just I just feel like it shouldn't be such a struggle. And I, I think there's a way for it to still remain private and still not have to worry about funds. But if there's some corruption going on, then what I mean, what can how can you compete against that? Like Google said 107. 107 what? HBCUs in uh, 107 United, HBCUs. United States. There's 107. Hundred and seven. Let's see what are the ten largest. I wonder what's Howard the Howard University. Uh huh. Prairie View AME University. Yeah, that's in Texas. Florida Agricultural Mechanical University. North Carolina Central University. Yeah. Southern University and A and M College. I heard they do it big at Central though. Fayetteville State University. Yeah. Virginia State University. Tennessee State University. That's the top ten. Yeah. I know Florida State. Well, be- that's only eight. Okay, I know Florida State can look a little sus sometimes. Why? Wow, because it's Florida? No, I'm talking about Fayetteville State, I meant to say. Not oh. Florida, but Fayetteville State. What do you mean State. a little sus- suspect? What I mean is like, you know, it kind of gives me that St. Alls vibe. You know, bust the window. Tennessee. Things of that nature. Okay. Uh, St. Phillips College. <laughs> Never heard of it. North Carolina A&T? Nope. Yeah, yep. No, that's yeah, the one they know. said be balling. North yeah, Carolina A&T. Eagle Aggie, you ever? How? Oh, yeah, we already said that one. Yeah. Florida, you you worried about North Carolina Central, Southern University, it's all good. College, Fayetteville State, Virginia State University. Number ten is Tennessee. Yeah, Tennessee. My my whole thing is like, okay, he he. Now when I initially heard about it, I was like, man, this dude's biting the dust. HBCUs, and I think a part of me was kind of like, man, I ain't never been to a Jackson State game, but I was like, man, he really doing some big stuff out here because he. They filmed this documentary. They probably make a little money from that. They didn't make the top 10. Cool. That's the state. Yeah, that, that wasn't even on the top 10. Is that weird? No, it ain't weird. Okay. It ain't weird. I mean, you think it would move them up after, you know, he got there. Well, they got the, well, it's still, well, I guess. But then you got to think about, too, man, I, I think, like, okay, first of all, he comes there, and they say he had to, the coaches weren't even being paid what he considered to be good. So he took, I think he took some of his salary to kind of pay them a little bit more. Thank you, Dion. Right. Then he called Michael Strahan to get him to see if he could suit all of the players. Matter of fact, I need to put respect on his name. Thank you, Mr. Sanders. I like the fact that his last name is Sanders. Yeah. Might be in the same bloodline. Never know. I don't know. Go on then after that. My name is Cortez. He suited him up real nice. Suited him up real nice. Then they got some some uh what you call the uh the athletic uh I can't think of the name of that but it, they they got them to the, uh keep them in fresh uh uh helmets thank you shoulder pads I mean thank you again Mr Sanders then he then he got some kind of sponsorship where they could fly instead of riding this big bus and thank you Mr Sanders for a wonderful that's, experience that's all yeah that's all that's that's pretty much what you get though why, why can't we just thank the man. For what he did. Why? Well, why? Well, well what? because thank him. The reason why. How we know it, it this won't? Is what I think. How we know it won't even bleed in his pockets? All the stuff he was doing. Like we don't, we don't know, know what was going on know. behind closed doors and what kind of deals he literally yeah. had to make. We and man, know. maybe he got tired. It was over. Listen, he worked his contract, right? Yeah. In the story, then he did his job. He did his he job. He literally worked out his contract. He did his job. Next. Let's live good. Here's the thing. It's almost like working a job, right? And right. it's your retirement, and they mad yes. at you leaving when you retire. Yes. Why are you leaving for? Man, because I did my bid. It sounds like he locked up. <laughs> <laughs> I did here's my time. Here's the thing, though. You say, here's the thing. You literally say, here's the thing, though. Here's the thing, man. It's like, listen, man. Uh, did you lose your thought? No. When this wokeism was happening, yeah. you know, with it, when the Floyd and oh, it felt... Like when they was when the black people were speaking out, they was like, "We don't own anything, and we've been dealing with social injustice for this long." X Y Z, X Y Z, X Y Z, 
at. There's plenty of people that's starving and, you know, all this wokeism happens, right? And, and then, you know, that's been about two years now. And since then, we done had the controversy with, you know, the Black Lives Matter, talking about the girl go get a nice house and blah, blah, blah. They're using funds from that was raised. You know, I don't know what the details are. But the thing about it is, I think black folks, we have, no matter what we do, they're still a part of us that don't really want to see people get better. I really feel that way, man. I'm confused. I don't know if this sided with Deion Sanders or against Deion Sanders. No, no. It's, 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 it's actually... You saying him moving, the, the him leaving is him getting better? Him getting better. Oh. Because the truth of the matter is this. At the end of the day, any time that... It's, it's almost like, for a long time, man, black people have been dealing with a lot of stuff. And I think some kind of subconscious way, we feel like that we are the ones that need to fix it. But in reality, it's the person that's causing the problem that needs to fix it. So that means that black people can't fix slavery. That means the people that had us enslaved, that means even if generations before, whatever, them the ones that got to fix it. So who supposed to fix the HBCU? I'm, I'm bringing it back. Oh. <laughs> the people that got to fix it is the HBCUs. That's it. Because no one per let me tell you something, man. Just like anything else, we all have our we 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 all have our limits. And if this man, I don't, if you I'm gonna tell you, man, it it's it really seemed I think he kept a cool head, but I think he really dealt with a lot. I know he dealt with a lot. And Deion Sanders. And I have vultures all around him. Right. And on top of this, if if he did, even if he had to give him five years, it would have never be enough. Because there's always something. Ten years never been enough. It, it, if he gave the rest of his life to them, come on, it wouldn't man. be enough, man. If he had small church services there, it still wouldn't be enough. <laughs> Why they got to be small church services? You know, you know, how they, you know how they just, just gather around, they just pray a little bit, and, and they do some singing songs for about 10 It just hey, never be enough. The man, man built them up, man. He built he them up, He gave them bro. a platform or put them in the right direction. Let's see, can they keep up that moment? I acknowledge your feelings, but at some point, I still got to make a move, man. Yeah, everybody's allowed to have their opinion on, and feelings, even, even if they wrong. Even if you wrong. Man. That's all I'm saying. And then on top of that, man, it's like, you know, this man getting on up in age, man, he ain't got he ain't got time to be the Martin Luther King and the Malcolm X's and all these different uh, historical black I don't people. Think, I don't th- he won't try to be. I know, one. but I'm saying, like, we always we always want that. Instead of just what a person actually has to offer. Hey, guess what? Everyone who wants that won't they step up to the plate and become that. They man. won't. They won't. They won't. They won't put they they won't put their life on the line. They, they want to use someone else. Yeah, they want to criticize someone. them for their failure. Criticize or, them for that. You ain't doing it the way I would have yeah, done it. Yeah, man. You, you do know, it yourself. Yeah, man, you know. Yeah, man, I would have never did. Man, I don't know. I, the way I feel, I, I think that if if this man said, listen, I did three years of this, and now it's about getting these other black coaches that have been doing it a long time in a better position to coach at this level. Man, you should he said, man, when he got the to the new the new facility in Colorado, he was like, oh my God. I mean it, it would look like something it like something from the NFL. So he said he was motivated, huh? It he motivated. Good. He seen where that money was going. He seen where it was going. Allegedly. I wonder what the enrollment is like though between Colorado let me tell you something, brother. Huh? Plus, plus, in Colorado, is it uh, marijuana is um, legal, right? The the smoke recreationally. I think so. That's what's up. I mean, not yeah, like that. You high playing football. They do. I, I, the, How you know? Well, you shouldn't be. I mean, shouldn't be right. I don't know. When I went to high school, man, I, I heard them guys was them guys was something else, man. They was on that dust. I mean, I I knew one of them personally, man. And he was the, on that door? No, nah, I was, was joking most, about that. He most definitely was smoking weed every day at the bus stop. He was getting high, man. He even gave me a ride to school one time. And he was high. Yeah, he was. Matter of fact, he let stopped. Me start, let me, he let me stopped. Act like that's a he, he stopped by the store to get some Dutchess, man. And, and he rolled one and up and right tight. then. I was like, wow, this is wild, man. As I'm in his back seat. That didn't actually have a back seat. He had a back seat, right? Yeah. That had the chair for your butt, but he had to he had to cut the other part out so his speakers could fit in there, man. 
Oh, wow. It was me and my best friend, man. The bus didn't come. And, man, he was coming by. He gave us a ride. Good, we had nice. to pay the price for that ride, but, you know. <laughs> <laughs> we had to get that secondhand um, contact. Yeah. Man, I, man. I don't know, man. I, I think. I do know. I think he made the best choice. Yeah. Matter I say you think he, in actual you think he really cared what people think talking about? I give it a maybe three, ten. Out of ten. Out of ten. No, maybe. out of a hundred percent. Yeah, ten percent it may be bothering him. Man, I really want to go with three. Yeah. Matter of fact, really zero. He probably heard it and moved <laughs> on because he know he still was gonna live his best Look, life. He's, he probably said they probably let's say they paid him like one fifty. Right. Yeah. He he was Jesus. He, they say they was giving him one. No, I'm talking about they say they at HBC they was, I don't they might have gave him one fifty. And he he was taking some of that to, you know, he might have took all fill of some it. holes in. No, <laughs> fill some holes in, pay some. And then they probably they probably done cut him a they probably done gave him a three year check for about one point five. 150 compared to 1.5. And you said he split his salary with the other coaches, he was, man. He was, fill, he was filling in holes, man, filling in gaps. I mean, first of all, I, I, he definitely get credit for that because more people ain't going to do that now. No. Oh, no, they're going to get their check. And, and I'm like, uh-uh. No, I got bills too. He did. But uh-huh. the thing about it, here, here's the other thing too. If in three years, the president or whoever is over that school, if they... He was an introduction. He gave you like literally an introduction to some people that could help your program out. Yeah, uniforms. I mean, he, man, they they, I, they ain't just wearing they ain't just wearing football. They wearing like fresh button up tie. I mean, every game had them looking good. Had them looking good, man. Come on out here, man. And, and he was doing that when he didn't have water. They still they still move like everything was all good. But if they didn't take those connections and and and, and hopefully they have a come on a humble mind and spirit so they ain't out here burning on. bridges. Stop playing. They playing games. We'll see, man. Only only the future will. Do you think they want to fail? The president of uh, Jackson State. So, do they want him to fail? You think they want him to fail? Nah, man. I think they. I don't. Nah. There's some people out there who probably want them to like go on to now because yeah. he's gone. But yeah. there's others that that you if if your kids go there, you you don't want them to fail. Number one, right? You want them to do good. Yeah. So we're gonna say no. You know what I'm saying? There's probably some people who want them to fail only because Dion is gone. But I think for the majority, they don't. But they want to know where that money's going to though. Now that's the that's the question that he we gotta need keep, answer. He got to keep that standard now. See, you know what I'm saying. But if you keep saying if you keep saying where the problem is, alumni. Yeah. See, right now, if you really think about it, that's a really great excuse, and they've been using that excuse for a hundred years. Yeah. Alumni, that's a great excuse. We underfunded because the alumni not giving back. But, but you know what's weird to me? Yeah. That great excuse, by the they way. They parents, no, they parents, <laughs> most of them. A lot of them, their parents pay that way. Maybe yeah. some financial aid and stuff. Yeah, they literally you pay to go there. You literally pay, and you graduate. Yep. That's you paying. Yep. Why do I owe you something for if I paid you for a service? Yeah, literally. I mean, I guess you, if I do it from the kindness of my heart, yeah, I can donate. But why do I owe you for paying? It's almost like paying for a house, and after you pay it off. The company that built it, you just keep giving them money. Why am I get, I I paid for this? Why am I paying you for now? As a contractor, technically, you know, if we was making, you know, off podcast, you would be a contractor, right? You would literally have to figure out a way to get to get to do some charity work, donate, just so you could kind of get some breaks. So that that's just that's just like. Straight up, no. That's just the way it is. But it's just like so I can understand. But the people that's able to donate to the uh, the HBCU, I'm talking about real money. They gotta first of all have real money. Now, if, if you saying that this the little five dollars that I'm giving, you said five five dollars <laughs> versus a half a million. Okay, I I get it. They stealing that too. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you. They're they going, they going, they going on lunch breaks with those 5 and $10. Them $20, they're 
They having faculty parties. Bernie Madoff did it. Huh? <laughs> he did it. So anything is possible. Yeah. He got a, he got a documentary out, boy. They call him the Wolf of Wall Street. So like, I said, that's crazy. But look, man, um, I hate to say it's me, 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 but sometimes it do got to be me, 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 me. Um, at the end of the day, this man got a family. He got a kids in college. Granted, he probably way better off financially than a lot of us. But at the end of the day, uh, he 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 already did it. He gave you three good years of your life. His life, he ain't getting no younger. He's moving up to the Colorado State to help them because they basically, I mean, their record is like zero. And the funny thing is this, man. Yeah. They made a contract for three years. Yeah. Obviously, they, they went in knowing and him because, you know, you have the was going agreement. In. Yeah. Yeah. That's the other thing that we got to consider. Man, I, I, I think I'm all, I'm all about... Um, I'm all about looking at something and be like, man, they're just moving on. I, I get that. But as, I, as I'm getting older and maturing, I also understand that there's also a lot of factors that we uh, got to consider. And plus, a person don't got to stay nowhere they don't want to stay. True. It just really don't make sense. Yeah, his body, his choice. His body, his choice. Uh, I hope y'all enjoyed this episode. Uh, don't forget uh, to subscribe to Fans of Culture YouTube channel. My name is Rod. I am Quartet. I am Tata, the greatest me. And we'll see you when we see you. Peace.